Hey guys, what is up? It's Saber and Stunts. We're playing Backyard Football 2002. Let's do a no, new coach here. And this is going to be tape. This game played when I was a little kid. Still love the series. Kind of think they're ruining on the, on the Wii, but that's just me. Let's go full on hard difficulty. Let's do power ups on. And I'll find an excuse for that later. I'll make sure I find an excuse for that. You know, let's go with Woodland Greens. Let's keep this as my home field and uh, random weather conditions. Now I'm going to be representing Chicago. Nah, 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 nah. That was terrible. Oh, why'd I click back? I just. I brain, like, you know, my brain just went like your face. Oh, there's no Packers in this league. That stinks. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick our team. And I I know this is surprising, but I'm going uh, with PD Wheeler. First pick instead of Pablo. Oh, Jake, where's No problem, Pete. Let's see. Oh, and Pablo is picked. That's going to be be a bummer for my team and now you know I need a quarterback hmm I was gonna pick Mikey Thomas for my quarterback but this doesn't look like he's here anymore so I need a passer sorry guys just looking through everybody's attributes Reese can you throw? One, two, three, four, five. six in passing better than a lot of people I've seen Ooh, she, Keisha can do everything. Uh, let's see. Who can I pick for my quarterback? You know what? I'm going to go with Reese Worthington for my quarterback. I want to play football. So do I. So let's go. Let's do this, Reese. Let's go big toe. So everybody else is going to be picked. And let's see who we're left with. And this is a steal. We're gonna pick Ernie. Ernie Steele. Hey, a steal. Ernie Steele. A steal. Ernie Steele. Funny bones. That's right indeed. And that's a strange laugh. But I'm gonna get him. He can catch like nobody's business. Not just from his attributes, guys. He's so tall. If you throw it in his vicinity, he will jump and get that ball for you. Next, I think I'm gonna go with Ricky. Okay, he doesn't say much, but uh, he doesn't have to, and that's exactly how I like him, and why I like him. And he's a great kicker. He's gonna be a great um, gonna be a great attribute or add-on to this team. And now I am going to go with the surprising pick of Jorge. Okay, but, but you must understand that no one must touch me. It's not gonna happen, Jorge. I'm not going to get dirty, am I? Mm, no promises. Okay, guys, and I think I just thought of an excuse for why I chose power-ups. Jorge, he's a rich guy. His parents got a lot of money. And they paid for our super equipment to have let us have power-ups. Give us that opportunity. So now we just have bad players left. I know a lot of people do like Ahmed Khan. Truthfully, I don't really like him that much. So, let's see how many picks I have left. We have two picks. I mean, I might as well get the steal while I can, because nobody else really matches up to it here. I'm sure you will. I can not bring my guitar, right? No. This is football. Mm, I don't know. What you thinking? Okay. And let's say Billy Jean Blackwood, Sidney Weber, Gretchen Hasselhoff. And Ronnie Dobbs is left. You know, I'm gonna go with Creator Ronnie Dobbs. Let's go with I Ronnie. That's awesome. So is this a, this is a guy, right? Uh, only one thing is stopping Ronnie from greatness. This is Big Sister Sally. If he overcomes his fear of her, he might be a decent player someday. You better not be afraid of Sally for the rest of the season. Cause you, 
You're woke. Okay. This is uh this is looking looking to be a superstar team, if you know what I mean. And I apologize for this video going longer than my usual ones. I am going to show you I am I have to show you the uh draft. Um or I mean I didn't have to. I wanted to. So looks like we're against the Buccaneers first game. Let's do this. Gotta set up our lineup. Pete, no 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 no. Let's put in Reese Worthington. And then no no no, no wait what? Okay, no, Reese Worthington is our quarterback. Thank you very much. Then I am going to this looks like a good setup. Yes, it does. Defense. Peter safety. All this is good, 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 good. I'm going to put in Jorge at the line. See if he can do any damage. Because he doesn't like to get dirty. You might as well get him as dirty as possible. And you know who I'm going to have for my kicker turn? Jorge Garcia, baby. Let's do this. My second returner will be Ronnie Dobbs. Put in my worst players at kick returning. Uh, this looks good. Let's start the game. Waiting for my computer to load. So I'm gonna do an entire. Hold on, I'll let you listen. The first game of the season. Recording from sunny Hawaii. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. in my disc or something because that commentary seemed like there was a lot of awkward pauses or maybe like Chuck and Sonny just went through a bad breakup but anyway Chicago Bears versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers same division rivals let's go we're both in the front yard central I believe don't know why Tampa Bay is in there but they are let's do this and Ricky is going to get a huge kick it's going to be and it's gonna bounce back all the way to the 20 yard line but Pete is there to stop her and drop the ball down at around the 21 gonna get Jorge into the action Lisa Crockett's blocking him and that's not gonna stop him from making the great tackle that Ernie Steele could have made if he just started a little more hustle Let's see what's and going on. And Ernie Steele making up for his terrible hustle on the first play with an interception. Brett Favre is angry. Let's go outside handoff to Pete. And he's going to be brought down for a loss by the pink haired defensive lineman on the Buccaneers. How about we try a flood? See what we can do with this. Ricky tossing up there and he's going to fumble. Pete showing amazing hustle it once again. Picking up the fumble, mistake by Ricky really, uh, Ricky Johnson, my bad, and we are going to keep this drive alive. Going to toss it up in the end zone, and what a terrible pass by Reese Worthington. Wow, what a great interception by Leah. Ball comes right into her hands, sheds a tackle, and she's going to be down at around the 23-yard line. Or he's blitzing in, and it's an amazing about 10 yard loss by Jorge Garcia what a defensive stud and it's a it's a power up 
Yeah, must have been stealing all his parents' money or something. Cause they must have super equipment. And we're gonna and we're gonna take it right back. Looks like that was an interception on my part. Never mind. Or he's gonna go and use the gopher. Use the gopher play to get into the backfield, and Jorge's gonna get another big, uh, big tackle for a loss. It's a great hit, uh, to bring down their, what well, looks like their star player, tight end. And no, I do not want to quit. Jorge's back there, and Liam makes another amazing diving catch. This is fourth down. I believe they're going to punt. So let's bring back a punt return. Jorge's deep to return the kick. And it's going to be down by uh, Brat, uh, Brett, I believe. Reese is going to hand it off up the middle, and Pete is going to be stuffed by Brett Favre, the all-around quarterback. Reese Worthington's going to throw the ball to Ernest Steele just to get a few extra yards. And now it's third down. The bomb going deep. And Reese can't throw that far, but Ernie certainly can catch. I told you guys he was a steal. Ernie Steele, amazing player in backyard football. Pete is gonna go deep, and he's gonna be intercepted by Leah. You do not wanna, you do not wanna pick on her when it's third down. You need a catch. Let's do a uh, loose change play and see if Jorge can get into the backfield. Vasman, Yasmin, my, I am sorry. She is going to be tackled for about a one-yard loss. Ahmed Khan is back, and Leah makes the amazing catch on Reese. She has the size advantage, and she has the skill advantage as well. Now we got a double team on Baloney, and he, nobody can come up with the ball there on my team. And Baloney makes a great catch. Ernie Steele is going to miss Baloney, and he is in the end zone. 4-6. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are now ahead. 90 yards receiving on the day uh, for Baloney Maloney. One touchdown, 30-yard average for his catches. And I'll see if we can get back there with Pete. And no, he's not going to be fast enough, but it does not matter. There is no way they're making that. Their kicker looks like she still has stamina in her. Maybe it's a bad kick. Jorge gets the ball, and he's going to dive to the 10 yard line, making sure he does not fumble the bomb once again. To throw the ball away, and no, it is a safety. That is eight. That is a fatal mistake for the Chicago Bears. We must kick it off once again in the second quarter. Wow. And it bounces back. Another gigantic bounce back. Leah Brie sheds Pete's tackle. And she's going to be a key factor in this game. Jorge is going to try to blitz the line. And, oh, and Ahmed with an amazing hit on Yasmin. Reese Worthington will pick up the ball. And we're going to see if we can capitalize on this turnover. Pete breaking a tackle. Brought down by the defensive and offensive stud, Brett Bars. We're going to try a deep pass. And Pete can't throw that far. Again, doesn't matter. I'm sorry, not Pete. Reese Worthington doesn't have much of an arm on him. But he has a heck of a receiving core. Let's try another passing play. See if we can hit Pete. And Lisa Crockett with the interception. Pete is going to go. Reese is going to go down and then get back up. Make the tackle on Lisa Crockett. Their offensive lineman coming up with an interception on defense. What a turnaround. What a turnaround of events. Ahmed Khan is going to blitz with Jorge. Jorge can't get there. But Ernie Steele cannot. Is just that much slower behind Baloney, but it's just been really thrown out over his outstretched arms. I'm going to play on Baloney, and it's a Hocus Pocus play. Pete is back there, and what a deflection by Pete Wheeler showing hustle once again. There's going, there's 37, er, 36 seconds left in the, in the first half, and Ahmed Khan is going to come up with the, uh, the punt return. But nothing's going to be there because their star running back is going to be over there. And Reese can't even get the pitch off because of the pressure in the backfield. We have to change up our playbook for shorter passing plays because this kid cannot throw. Let's do a try spoon fork play. And go for Ricky Johnson, amazing receiver. Let's use some of Jorge's money to our advantage. Pete Wheeler's gonna go up the middle as a tornado. 
I don't think anyone will catch him except for the redhead running hustle, showing hustle downfield to finally stop Pete Wheeler, and the ball is on the 25-yard line of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's see what can happen. Here, throw it up, and it's intercepted by Leah. What a fatal mistake by Reese Worthington and the Chicago Bears. Looks like the Buccaneers are going to be able to go into halftime with a lead. This has been a bad, bad first half for the Chicago Bears. Let's see if they can capitalize on anything with any kind of interception. Brett Favre trucking through three defenders and finally being brought down by my cornerback, Ernie Steele. Jorge's going to drop back, and Reese is going to... Balloon is breaking Reese's tackle. Again, Ernie Steele is everywhere on the field today, folks, and he's going to make that stop. Looks like Pete Wheeler is going to be back here for the punt. See if we could use his speed to our advantage. And he's going to pick it up before Leah can get there. But he is going to be brought down immediately. And I threw it to Pete Wheeler. Pick it on Lisa. She made an interception today. But Reese looks like he thinks that was luck. And now it's a halftime show. I'm just going to skip that because nothing was happening there. And let's get back to the game, shall we? Now we're going to get the kick return to start. Jorge Garcia deep back for the Bears. And he is going to field the ball around the one-yard line. And Brett Favre is going to come up with another amazing tackle. Great player to pick. Just didn't pick him. And Pete Wheeler is going to come up with the reception. Pete Wheeler with full stamina. Chucking down the field. Can someone catch him? Yes, she can. That's going to give us a power up. And Pete is going to use the rest of his stamina here. For a touchdown. Ernie Steele blocking Leah before she can even get up. Making sure she will not catch him. 138 yards on the day. And his first touchdown for Pete Wheeler. Leaving the football in the end zone as a gift for any kid who might want it. And let's see if Ricky can knock it home. No, it's going to be blocked by Reese Worthington. Oh, now that puts us at an extreme disadvantage. Six to eight, we need to score or the game is over. Now we need to make a great defensive stop here or nothing is going to happen. Jorge is trying to get in the backfield, getting blocked. Leah's going to get the cross, and Jorge getting trucked, still making the tackle. Leah cannot get past our defensive stud, Jorge Garcia. And Ahmed and Jorge did back, but Baloney makes the reception way over to the first down marker. But they're hoping to get it. Let's watch their running back. Oh, and Jorge making a great defensive stop. And now we are going to try spring loaded, see what we can do to block the punt. Ernie Steele is way back, and Jorge Garcia, another amazing defensive play, jumping over the line and blocking the punt, giving us great field position. And I'm going to try to run it with Reese. Reese is going to drop, uh, uh, run for about a one yard gain. And spoon, or trying a spoon fork play. Ricky, no, Ernie Steele coming with an amazing reception, and that is a touchdown. You're right, Sonny. Again with that crazy laugh of his. And now this is going to put us in the lead. A very close game. And of course they're going to block it one more time. Looks like our only hope with these guys. And for the rest of the season with the blocking that our team has. Is that we are going to have to do two point conversions after every touchdown. Jorge is going to rush back to the wrong side. Yasmin's going to break a tackle. And Ernie Steele of course. He's going to be showing great hustle and all around the field. Jorge's going to put pressure on Brad Favre, and that's going to allow Ahmed for a great pick. And this is going to help us tremendously. Pete is leveled around the two-yard run for him, but that's all we needed out of him. Let's try to do a screen pass, see what... Pete can do wide open, and Pete is going to catch that. He's going to go for a receiving touchdown now. Stamina is running low. It doesn't matter.
272 total yards on the day. And let's go for two. Not wasting that tornado. Check for sweeper. See if we can do speed speed on the outside. And he's going to be stuffed by the redhead on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Ricky's going to kick this off. Looks like he still has some juice in his leg. And Pete Wheeler's going to miss a tackle. Yasmin making a great uh, effort, but Ahmed swiping across the field and tackling her. Looks like it's going to be a sweep with Leah. And Jorge is there to stop it after her shedding a tackle off of Ernie Steele. You should be proud, Jorge. You're playing a great game for the Chicago Bears. Diving back. Looks like he can put some pressure on Brett Favre. And that's going to result in an incomplete. Ackman's gonna blitz along with Jorge. It's gonna give them both time, and Jorge can come up with an amazing defensive line interception. We're gonna use this tornado. This is why we saved it. This is gonna bring us home. Touchdown for Pete Wheeler. Third on the day, second rushing. And you guys have already seen this. We don't need to watch that again. It's a field goal. See if Ricky can. And finally, they did not get to us. Our blocking holds holds its own. And this used to be a close game. Us down in the half, 8 to nothing. But Ricky Johnson with an amazing effort. And Jorge Garcia, defensive stud for the Bears. And it looks like I thought Ahmed was going to get that pick off of Brett Favre covering Baloney. But he has a tight coverage on Baloney. And Ahmed is going to come up with a pick this time. You can't pick on him twice, Brett. Looks like he was a great pick for us. It's a pass deep for Ricky William or Ricky Johnson. I'm sorry. Keep mistaking their names. And it looks like we're gonna try a swinger play. Pete cannot come up with it. Reese can. Looks like he's running out of stamina. And now let's try to swap some people in. So we're gonna put Jorge at a quarterback and Ronnie Dobbs for our running back. See if we can get them some uh, ball time on offense. Doesn't look like Jorge can pass too well, so let's try a sweeper out to Ronnie Dobbs. And Ronnie Dobbs is going to get the sweeper. Ronnie Dobbs is going to get about a six yard gain. Great run for him. Fourth down, looks like we need a pass. And Jorge is going to pass it! And he's going to get a completion down the field. Jorge, you are a stud. Let's see if Ronnie Dobbs can get a rushing touchdown today. Breaks Leah's tackle, and he is gone. Ronnie Dobbs in the end zone. And we're just rubbing it in their face now. Ronnie Dobbs falling over. Doesn't matter. You already made the touchdown, man. Going for the field goal, see if our blocking can hold its own. Now that there's fresh stamina there, and no, Brett Favre sweeping on the outside. Nothing we can do about that. But watch. Looks like Yasmin, their star running back, is back there, and Pete's gonna go for the tackle. No, Baloney gets the ball. Yasmin waiting for Baloney to get back there. Ahmed Khan gonna come up with the tackle once again. Trying to rush out to the outside. Can he catch her? No. Yasmin looks like she might be gone. She's good. Go all the way! Jorge with an amazing hustle, but it's not enough, buddy. Thanks for trying. And Yasmin is going to come up with an amazing rushing touchdown, trying to get over 100 uh, total yards on the day. Hasn't happened for her yet. Let's see if we can try to block theirs like we they block ours. Reese Worthington cannot get past their blocker, but it does not matter. Their kicker's uh, Carla is running out of stamina. She's still fast enough to catch a lot of people. Jorge is going to try to run the ball, and he gets it back to the 30. A decent gain. And Jorge is back in her quarterback position. What a pass! Looks like Jorge might be a better, uh, better a thrower than Reese Worthington, don't worry about it, buddy. Superman, let's see if Jorge can make up for his mistakes here. And he's going to dive at Brett. And that's going to show him a little pressure. And it looks like it paid off putting Jorge at a quarterback to give Reese a rest. Throwing that ball away. Dangerously close to an interception, though. Let's see if we can get um, Ronnie Dobbs some more action. Let's do a swinger play out to the left side. Ronnie Dobbs is going to get the ball. Ronnie Dobbs is going to go to 20 yards. And he's going to go first down and more around a 25-yard rush for Ronnie Dobbs. And that's Ernest Steele comes up with the amazing jumping catch for Jorge, making up for Jorge's um, terrible passing. Just going to throw that away. Nobody's open. 
that's a good that's a good uh decision the claw Ronnie Dobbs throwing it up and Baloney's gonna come up with the interception Baloney tries to get through uh tries to get through our offense but they become defense once the ball is turned over Jorge's gonna try to get back there and Ernie Steele is already rushing in there for a tackle a nice job by Ernie Steele and this is a tornado and looks like Yasmin is gone last play of the game Gives them some hope, but it doesn't matter. This also gives Yasmin Kristoff the Russian rushing the ball for 157 yards. Two touchdowns, 40 yard average. Amazing game for Yasmin. Gonna try to block the field goal, see if we can get some last effort in. But no, she's going to truck Reese, truck Ernie, and then Reese comes back for the tackle. Yes, we do. Looks like we came off with a win, 31 to 20. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.